Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Chris here. I want to bring you guys an up or uh, an update on Litecoin. My apologies, and I just want to show you what I was looking at and kind of what we've experienced over the last couple days. I didn't get to do a Litecoin video yesterday. Just been very busy with a lot of things, so I apologize for that. But I want to show you what I was looking at. So you can see we're kind of we've been in this channel right here, and we've been making those higher highs right there and we've been having our higher lows which has been awesome so you guys obviously know we had that big sell-off remember when I told you we had those tweezer tops and I told you that in the trading account that I have because I do have long-term holds which you should have but in the trading account that I use when I saw these double tops right here these tweezer tops and then I also saw this bearish candle that was more than enough confirmation for me that's when I got out around that 177 176 right there so that was good I was excited about that because the key is guys if you're able to when you see things like that and you can see the RSI was going down right there at the same spot RSI started to turn and move down it's a great time guys to sell just a small portion and then try to buy back when you can see something like this. Do you see this doji that's been forming right there? It's almost a hammer as well, so like a hammer doji in a way. But do you see this long tail that it had on it? These guys, they were fishing down here. They were trying to see how low the price would go, but it got bought back up. So we got down to $150, which was a strong resistance as well. Remember those psychological levels. Then we got bought back up, and now we're up above that 382 right now. And I'd really like to close up above that. That's a, that's a big deal that we close up above the 382. So when I did this Fibonacci, I pulled from the tweezer bottoms at 109, and I brought it all the way up there. And we had a good retracement, though. With that wick, guys, we we're pretty close to the 50%, which was, was a hefty pullback. It was a nice little pullback. So always look for those things too. You can really tell in the RSI. So with the RSI, take a look here, guys. You see this nice white candle there, but what happened on the RSI? It started to fold over, and then we had our tweezer tops, and we had this spinning top here, which pierced halfway into this bullish body. So that was an indication there that most likely we were going to go down. And our RSI on the four hour at the time was up in 85.90. So it was up really high. So that would have been a good time to sell some, try to buy some back a little bit cheaper so you can earn some free coins and you don't have to pay for them. And that's kind of the strategy, guys. Remember, I'm a swing trader, not a day trader. So you really look for that type of stuff. But this doji candle right here that's been forming, Hopefully, we can push up a little bit more, and that can turn into a hammer, and we can continue to move up a little bit more. But that doji is significant itself. That means that the selling has stopped okay, or slowed down. So that's really important. And then pay attention to the RSI. You can see our support is around that 50, 51 right here. And then our resistance on the daily was around 67. So we had this peak here, we had this peak, we tried it, then we came back down, we tried it again, and we failed, and then we came back down. So that's really important, and pay attention to that as well. I also want to check the MACD for us, but you can see that almost turning into a hammer there, which would be great. Hammer out the bottom, then let's make the next move and see if we can make a higher high and then a higher low. That's how it works, guys. So our MACD, see what that's... Got going on. I hope you guys are having a great day. So on the MACD, on the daily, what do you guys see? Sorry about that line. Okay. So right here when this MACD started to hook or turn like it was going to come down and cross over this 26 day, what happened? We had that sell-off. So that's why the MACD is important as well. It's a lagging indicator, but it still will show you a ton of what's going on. And you can just really tell when you start to have that bullish or bearish divergence. And you can see we had that bearish divergence here. And take a look at the histogram as well. So do you see this on the histogram? And what happened? We went down. Same thing with these tweezer tops. So when you see all these things converging together, that would be a good time up here to sell. Hold your money in cash. Don't put it in your bank account or anything. Keep it like in a GDAX account and then wait for a good opportunity to buy it back. That makes sense. So guys, I wanted to bring this to you, show this to you, and hopefully we can continue, since we're seeing this Dozier Hammer Candle, 
hopefully we can start moving back up now and we can make an attempt at trying to break through the 236 which is $167. Then I also wanted to look at the 4 hour because that's important as well. So the 4 hour, now you can see we had that break right here from the downtrend. We were trailing down and then now we're moving sideways. We're having that consolidation. Let me get that trend line off. And I want to draw this for you. So now we're almost having on the 4 hour a little bit of bullish divergence. Do you see how the histogram is going back down now? So always pay attention to that as well. And then with this hook, so we need to get up and cross over hard from that signal line. So that's going to be really important. It's an important factor, guys. We need to see some good volume. And you can see on the four hour, that's a perfect doji. It almost looks like a morning star doji. Didn't gap down, but you can see this bearish candle. We had the doji. Then we had a beautiful white candle here, or bullish candle, that closed up really well. It was almost uh, like a smaller bozu candle. I know it wasn't as long as a bozu should be, but there's hardly any wick at the top right there. So that's great. It was almost a shaven head. And now, right here, you're seeing another doji. Then you're kind of getting this almost gravestone doji or inverted hammer right there. So we need some more volume to come in. And we need to get up through right here, guys, around that $167. That's the next big spot there. And you can see how we tested that before. So really pay attention to candles at support and resistance. That makes them so much more effective if it is at that support and the resistance, like where it happened, like we had on the daily here how this was trying to wick down and now we're trying to close up above the 382 so keep a close eye on that guys i'm hoping that we can get up above and close up above the 236 but we need that good volume to come in we need bitcoin to continue to do well and we'll kind of see where we're at but that's why i do some of the videos that i do for you guys because i don't want to see people especially people who have a decent amount of money invested and can't really deal with holding through all these dips. Like when we're up here at $184 going all the way back, riding it all the way back to 150, that's really hard to do. And remember guys, I'm not your financial advisor and you should never invest more than what you're comfortable with, but think about that swing from $50 all the way up to or from $84 all the way down to $50. That is a big move. And you think about it, what if you sold 10 Litecoin up here at $184 and you were able to buy them back here around 150 155 something like that? You just collected a good amount of coins because you were able to read this chart and could tell what was coming from looking at the indicators. And remember, guys, no one's psychic. Anything can happen. A guy could put in a ton of money at once, a big whale, or they could pull a ton out. But if you're paying attention to these charts, you can see a lot of things and you can see these um, higher highs and higher lows that were forming. So you could kind of tell that we were going to pull back and try to stay above this higher low right here. So I just want to bring this to you guys. I hope you're all having a great day. God bless each and every one of you and take care and be safe.